we've been promised that this is the future of household energy. So what is this really? And how revolutionary can it be? Harmony Turbines is a US-based company with the product of the same name. Their proposed solution for household energy generation is vertical axis turbine with two patented features, possible advantages. First one is propeller built in form of scopes, which are closing or opening, depends on weather conditions. And second possible advantage is that these scopes propel permanent magnet generator with variable ergo. So are these features makes Harmony Turbine's best revolutionary and the future of household wind power? Let's dig in. This kind of turbines is known as Savonius. This is vertical axis wind turbine operating on drag principle. What does it mean? Propeller lobe of this turbine is pushed by the wind just like when you open doors or windows outwards during storm. But this wouldn't provide us with constant motion. Lobe would stay in less resistant position, just parallel to the wind. For an interruptible movement, we need difference in forces on both sides of the axis. And who comes to the rescue? Drag coefficient factor. The same surface shaped in convex got four times less drag than in convex shape. And this difference in shape provides us with some amount of useful power. We need to remember that in Savonius turbines, half of the propeller all of the time is trying to decrease amount of energy which we take in from the turbine is trying to break the turbine why if this is so revolutionary you don't see too many of these turbines in the wild because even if they are easiest to build and were invented 100 years ago 1922 they've got two really big disadvantages they produce small amounts of energy in relations to size and are prone to failure during strong winds. And this catastrophic feature is the biggest Savonius disadvantage. Its frontal surface remains same during all weather conditions. Why is this a bad thing? Because of wind pressure load on construction. As wind load is proportional to square of velocity, which means two times the speed, four times the load. And these are not small numbers. During 100 miles per hour wind, which is 45 meters per second, load is 1200 newtons per each square meters, per each 10 square feet. But isn't it the same for all wind turbines? Yes, but in horizontal wind turbines, we can decrease working surface just by turning wind turbine parallel to the wind. In vertical wind turbines, this is not the case. Almost all of us who build such a turbines experience damage during first storm. And let me tell you, this is not fun. Harmony Turbine's solution is dividing working surface into scoops, which are then opened and closed by clever mechanism of shaft and gears. What benefits should we expect from changing shape and size of working surface? First and most important, this should decrease pressure load of wind turbine structure and base during strong winds. As we can see, closed rotor have got almost or maybe more than two times smaller area than totally open. And this, of course, would be advantageous in storms. But as we can see, even with this closing mechanism, they had to use additional free poles to gain rigidity of the turbine and of course you can expect that these additional obstacles disrupt airflow through the turbine to what degree does it affect efficiency of the turbine even if they measured it they do not share this knowledge so what kind of power or energy production can we expect because this turbines are quite big. Are they enough for the home? It is still unclear, but I wouldn't cut your grid cord yet. Because even if Harmony Turbines named their prototypes 400 watts or even 1000 watts in some company documents, which is very optimistic by anyone who is familiar with the field, after three years of developing, they've got no proof of it. So going back to such a complicated construction of lobes, these segmented lobes 
allow also for smaller torque fluctuation, which in most common Savonius turbines is obtained by corkscrew shape. Why do Savonius turbines even have such an unfavorable characteristic? With drag type turbines, amount of energy available to the turbine is different in different moments of turning cycle. When lobe is perpendicular to the wind, amount of energy is maximum and it goes to zero when it's parallel. So this is the problematic feature which makes it necessary to use more complicated screw-like shapes or just segments like here. And segments do not eliminate the stresses completely, but they do significantly reduce them. So what is Harmony Turbine market potential as a household wind generator? Let's remember that even with closed segments, this is six by two obstacle during strong winds. So for the first, we can calculate that this is about 700 newtons of force applied to four feet long lever. For comparison, small M3 wind turbine, 500 watts, which has working area almost two times bigger, applies only about 100 newtons to its base seven times less and also weights 20 times less than this metal monster which could be difference between catastrophe or no damage to the building if any accidents were to happen and then energy production everyone who had savonius can assure you that any number seller promised you were greatly exaggerated to say the least there is no documented measurement of Savonius turbines where efficiency exceeded 10%. And for standard free blade horizontal turbine, it is 40-45%. Therefore, Savonius turbines more of a status symbol art piece than energy source. Even in vertical turbines category, they've been replaced by a little bit more efficient Darius type. And also from engineering point of view, they've got another big disadvantage because they rotate very slow. Usual rotations of uh, this kind of turbines is 20, 80 rotations per minute, which means that you have to use much bigger and much more expensive generators. And lastly, this previously mentioned fluctuations in torque. This means also variable forces on your fasteners and on your mast. Does all this mean that Harmony Turbines is another poorly designed and ill thought out hype? Not necessary. It's actually genius. If we assume that the aim of the project was not to build long lasting maintenance free energy source, but to obtain few millions from uneducated donors, then all manifestations of technological illiteracy suddenly seems to make sense. If we dare to assume that all this complication is the desired outcome. The questionable from engineering point of view solutions becomes genius from financial engineering perspective. Because with all the benefit of the doubt, we have to take into consideration that company goals are totally different than producing wind turbine. It's not totally unreasonable to assume that this financing and crowdfunding is real and only goal of company's existence because then everything is starting to make sense in that case increasing complexity to the maximum make it impossible for an educated investor to verify feasibility of this project is the goal and if you want to surprise yourself how uneducated can you be Go and check video by an educated, uh, undecided Matt Ferrell. See ya.